A man saved a lion and her cubs. Years later, this happened. Originally born in Ukraine, Alex lived in one of South Africa's wildlife parks for the majority of his life. The veterinarian loved nature and the wild feeling that the plains of the Serengeti gave him when he would trek over them. Tucked behind some rocks, a short distance away was a female lion. He had never been so close to one in the wild before, and the sheer size of the beast amazed him. At first he panicked and began to level his gun at the animal, as he was certain the lioness would try to attack him, but all she did was growl at him. That's when Alex noticed a problem. The lioness was not attacking him because she couldn't. It turned out that her foot had somehow gotten caught in a trap and she was unable to move more than a few feet before it became too painful for her. Alex was both relieved that he was still safe and horrified that such a beautiful animal had been trapped in such an inhumane way. Clearly it looked like the work of poachers, who no doubt would be back to finish the lion off and sell what they could to make a bit of money. Alex was upset at the idea that the feline was simply going to be killed for money and he knew that he had to do something to help her. He decided to try and edge closer to the lioness to see if he could get close enough to the trap to set her free. But as he got closer, the frightened animal reared up at him and swiped out with one of her massive paws. Alex quickly threw himself back out of her reach and into safety. He had managed to escape unscathed, but he knew that the lioness wouldn't allow him anywhere near her. Thanks to his experience with wild animals, Alex had noticed another problem. When the lioness had swiped at him, he had seen her belly, more specifically, her teats, which were swollen and laden with milk. This meant that the lioness had cubs nearby who wouldn't be able to survive long without her. With this new development, Alex knew that he had to act fast. If the cubs were left alone for too long, they could starve to death or die of thirst. Worse still, another predator could find them and kill them as they would not be able to defend themselves. With the lioness still tied up and not willing to let Alex close to her, the kind-hearted man only had one choice left. He would have to find the cubs and bring them back to the lioness himself. Luckily, Alex knew that they couldn't be too far away, and so he searched around until he came across some tracks. He followed the tracks a short distance away from the mama lioness until he began to hear a few mules. He followed the mules to some long grass where he found three small cubs hidden amongst it, all calling for their mother. Alex quickly collected the cubs up in his arms and walked back towards the trapped lioness. Upon seeing her cubs, the lioness began her roaring again whilst trying to tear herself free of the trap. Alex was nervous, as he didn't want to upset the mama into such a frenzy that she would hurt herself, so he gently laid the cubs down one by one. Once on the ground, the lion cubs began calling out again and slowly made their way over to their mama. The entire time they walked, Alex was talking to the lioness in a calm and soothing manner, reassuring her that he did not want to hurt her and that he was actually trying to help her. Upon seeing that he wasn't a danger, the lioness calmed down, and as her babies finally made their way over to her, she lay down and allowed them to get some milk. Alex watched from a safe distance as the family reunited once again. He was glad that he could bring the cubs to the safety of their mother once more, but he still had the problem of how he was going to get the lioness free. For a while, Alex simply sat a short distance away from the lion and spoke to her in a reassuring manner. He had no clue just how long the lioness had been trapped for, but he realized that she must have been hungry as she still had to produce milk for her cubs. Assuring the mama big cat that he would be back, Alex quickly ran back to his truck and drove around the area a little bit until he came upon a zebra carcass. Although the animal had very little meat left on it, he knew that it would be enough to give the lioness a little bit of her strength back. The brave man cut a large chunk of meat off of the deceased animal and headed back to the lioness and her cubs. Upon his return, the lioness wasn't as hostile as she had been previously. In fact, she seemed quite eager to see the man again, especially as he was carrying a large chunk of meat for her to eat. Alex watched as the feline licked her lips and smiled knowingly. He spoke gently to the animal before giving her the meat. The lioness hesitantly got up and sniffed the meat before digging into a meal. Whilst the lioness was distracted, Alex saw this as his moment. He slowly and cautiously approached the lioness and quickly shot her with a tranquilizer to sedate her. Before the meds kicked in, he loosened her paw from the trap and tried to lure the lioness into the back of his truck where he had already placed the three cubs in a kennel. 
So focused on his task, however, Alex failed to notice that the lioness had stopped eating and had gotten within a couple of feet of him. As a shadow fell over him, Alex slowly looked up to see the lioness inches away. But instead of getting angry and attacking, the lioness simply stood there. The lioness was hurt and couldn't walk properly. Alex wanted to get her into the back of the truck before she was out cold and gave her a little nudge. The lioness understood she needed to obey and did something completely unexpected. Before she leaped into the truck to get to her cubs, she approached Alex and began to rub her head against them, much like a house cat would do. Once the lioness was in the truck, Alex tied her down and drove as quickly as he could to the reserve where he lived. As Alex drove away, he couldn't help but feel amazed at what had just happened. At the reserve, he and the other workers nursed the injured lioness back to health and took care of the cubs. During that time, the lioness and her cubs bonded more and more with Alex. After a few months, it was time to bring the lion family back to the wild. Before they parted ways, the lioness cuddled with Alex one last time, as they had grown fond of him. A few years went by with Alex not seeing any of the lions that he had helped save that fateful day. Then, one day, he came across an amazing sight. A pride of lions were all lazing around under the tree that he had once used himself to have his lunch. As he came to a stop a short distance away from the animals, one of the lions lifted his head and looked at him. Upon seeing the man, the animal quickly got up and began to swiftly walk towards him. At first, Alex was nervous, as he didn't want to be attacked by a big cat. But as the feline got closer, he began to realize that he knew him. It was one of the cubs that he had saved so many years before. Alex was amazed that he had come across him and even more shocked that the lion seemed to remember him. Once the lion was close enough, he began to nudge his head against Alex, much like his mother had done years beforehand. Alex laughed and cautiously stroked the beast's fur before the animal withdrew and made his way back to his pride. Alex couldn't be happier. The cub had remembered him and what he had done for his family. Knowing not to overstay his welcome, Alex turned his car around and began to make his way back home. But not before hearing a loud roar from the male lion. Even though he knew that it was likely a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence, Alex couldn't help but think that he had managed to create such a strong and lasting bond with the lion in such a short amount of time. And whilst he never saw them again, he couldn't have been happier with the experience that he got to share with such amazing creatures. Let me know what you thought of the story in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing tales.